Hey guys, Drifter here, and welcome to YouTube 101, the show where I help you run a more successful YouTube channel. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to properly do live commentaries on consoles. PC is going to be in an entirely different episode, so today we're going to focus on capture cards, editing, voice balance, voice quality, sync, all of these sort of things which are console issues. I'm going to be working mainly with the Elgato because, well, they sponsor this video and Sony Vegas. Elgato wants you to get the best out of the product. If you purchase through them, they're really big on aftermarket satisfaction, and that's why they hired me to make these guides so that if you do, you know, I can show you how to get the most out of it. That's what we all want the most out of our products, and that's what we're going to do today. So it's going to be kind of a long episode. I didn't really want it to be this long, but I thought that it would be best to do it thoroughly than just do it fast. So it's going to be a very detailed, very in-depth episode today. I'm going to show you how to do it with a webcam too, so you can do face cam commentaries. And before we move to that, the most important point that I need to make is that a good live commentary is live with the gameplay. I'm waiting on that package to drop over there, and that your voice is in balance with the game audio. You want the game audio to be loud enough where we can hear it, it's clear, you can hear the gunshots, you can hear the background noises, you can tell what's going on, but not so loud that it drowns off out your voice. If it was so loud that you couldn't hear me talking, then it would be kind of pointless to do a live commentary because it would just sound like muffled, you know, nonsense over some gunshots. So what I'll do, uh, I think this is a good audio balance right now for doing live. I hope I can hit this guy with my stupid PDW, but I'm going to swap over to a terrible voice balance right now. This is what I would call a bad voice balance. As you can tell, the gameplay audio is much, much louder. My voice is much quieter. You probably can't hear me very well. Not as clear, not as distinct, probably not what you were hoping for. Definitely not what I was hoping for, and it's, oh, there goes my cell phone. That's also something you definitely don't want to have in a live commentary. The best way to test your audio balance is not on your PC. It's not with your good speakers, it's not with your subwoofers, it's not with your Astro headsets. The best way to test your audio balance is to upload it to YouTube and let it go private and then listen to it on your mobile phone or with the worst speakers imaginable, the oldest, most ghetto headset that you possibly have with the crackliest, crumbliest noise. Because if you audio balance around excellent headsets, you know, like Astros or uh, something like that, you're going to be able to jack the vol game volume up very, very loud and still hear your voice distinctly because of the quality. However, not everybody's going to be listening on that. You have like 30-40% of people on mobile, some people on laptops, some people on PC. Some people have the headsets, but a lot of them won't. So you want to make sure that everybody can hear it no matter what type of thing you're using. So my test is I always upload the video to private and I listen on my cell phone if I can hear it on my cell phone and then I listen on dumpy speakers and if I can hear it on my old crappy speakers that are held together by duct tape that means everybody can hear it and they'll be able to understand it. That's all for the live gameplay. Let's jump into capturing my desktop and I'll show you all of my settings on how to do live commentary. And this is the live capture part of the commentary where I go through and show you exactly how it is that I would capture live commentary on my Elgato. I've loaded up a game. Uh, my TV's on my left, so I can't exactly see it very well. I'm kind of walking in the blind here, fighting some bots on free fall on my Elgato. But anyway, I'm doing a little capture reception, so if I get some frame drops, do forgive me. The first thing I want to show you is that I am using beta software here. This is not yet been released to the whole, I just got killed by a bot, to the whole public, and it may change a little bit. If this exact software suite doesn't come out in the future, then I do apologize. But something very similar to it will come out. Let me show you what you need to do to get started. We need to go uh, to our settings wheel. That was this one right here. And we're going to go to our recording. We're definitely going to enable flashback recording because that's just a godsend. And we're also going to record live commentary in a separate audio track. Once those two are enabled on the sharing tab, we want to always export to MP4, mute live commentary in the exported track, and export live commentary into a separate audio file. Okay, we're in business once we have all of those settings. It's going to reset briefly and apply all of these settings. I'm capturing on the Xbox One right now, by the way. And we're going to load in, and we are going to be live. Now, do keep in mind, I can't exactly see my TV, so I am literally in the dark as to what's going on. But let me show you the new way to capture live commentary that will be probably the standard in the future. And all you need to do is right now I'm just using the webcam microphone because I'm recording this microphone on my, I got killed again, <laughs> on my uh, PC. So you'll turn on the webcam microphone. And as you can see, we have uh, my voice going out through the webcam here and we're capturing. Uh, let me play just a little bit and I could be like, hey guys, Drifter here, we're doing some elite uh, you know, tips and tricks tutorials on free fall. We're going to pick up these field orders, and I, I see a bot. I think he's on recruit. I hope to God he's not on veteran. And uh, let me, I don't know where he went. My bot just disappeared on me. I just, I just got killed by a bot, guys. Live commentary killed by a bot. I should just uninstall my game. Game over. 
Uh, that's the commentary, so all I would do is then come down to the flashback, and it's kind of like moving backwards and forwards in time. If you see, I can kind of slide it back to uh, right about here where I started hunting the bot, and I hit record once, and it goes to the future. And then I can trim off this little bit at the end and go back to where uh, the bot killed me and I said I should uninstall my game. Give a few seconds of buffer and it's going to export that track. And I'm going to show you what it'll do in Sony Vegas in just a second. Uh, but for now, I will show you what is the current standard way to capture game... Ooh, be live commentary on this capture card. I'll take the pistol. Give me the pistol. What we will do is we will uh, unmute this for now, we'll remute this, and I will go and I will not uh, put these in different tracks and I will not put a live commentary in a separate track. You won't have these options right now. What you've got right now today on your Elgato, are ba well, it's going to reapply the settings, are these basic settings. Uh, it's got a live commentary tab, which you can see. And what we will do is turn on the live commentary tab, make sure it's got the correct microphone selected. The game audio can be a bit loud sometimes if you're not careful. Uh, I think I actually had it already turned down. I skipped a step. A lot of time it's sitting up here by default. You want to scale it back to something like negative uh, 24 or 21, 18. I'll leave it on negative 21 decibels right now so the game audio is relatively quiet. And for the microphone, I will put it on. You never want to go louder. You always want to go a little bit quieter. I'll put it on negative one decibel so that we can ever top out and lose quality. And we're kind of set here. We're already recording, so I'll do this again. Be like, uh, hey guys, Drifter NV here. I'm going to show you my elite uh, bot owning tactics looking sideways on my TV, praying to God I don't get shot in the back again. Oh, oh there he is. Let's go hunt him down and get this this bot, my guy. Uh -huh. Insert witty comment here. I am the best live commentator ever. And I've lost the bot on this map because I just can't focus. Oh man, I got a bot. That's my chem strike. Calling it in. Gonna quick scope him now. Anyway, <laughs> that could be my live commentary. And I will go ahead and save this track. I'll save the whole like chase scene. And we've got it all. Let's record it. And we're gonna snap it. Oh, I get that bot killing me. I'll snap it again. And we've got an entirely different kind of live commentary. Now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna open up Sony Vegas and show you the difference between the two. Okay, so this is the Sony Vegas part of the live tutorial, you could say. I prefer Sony Vegas as my primary editor. You can also use Premiere or other programs that are very similar. I wouldn't recommend Movie Maker, but iMovie is also okay. What you would come to and do is check Import Media right up there in the top left. And you can see I've been experimenting a little bit here, and I've got some files piled up. But the last two files that we captured were this one right here and this one right here. This one in particular was the one with the multiple audio tracks and you can see this M4A file is actually a separate audio track just for my voice for voice balancing like we talked about earlier in the episode so I'm going to import these two files uh, hopefully I've grabbed the right two I'm pretty sure they lined up no I don't want to change the video settings uh, one of the best tips I can always give you is to disable resample just right click go to switches and disable resample and I can drag and drop my voice down here in this track one of the funny things I've noticed about this is when you export in multiple tracks for whatever reason this one doesn't have a preview but if I hit play right here, let me make sure that my own speakers are turned off so I don't blast you with audio. Uh, you can see on the right hand side that we are getting live audio. I don't know if I'm actually recording this through my screen capture PC program. We'll find out in the editing, but yes, I am getting audio. Uh, what you can do is then take the voice part of this down here in the track and hit play. And if you don't like that balance, then you can come and let's turn the voice down a little bit and let's the gameplay down here and you or you can make the gameplay louder and the voice louder or the gameplay muted or the voice like blasting aloud and you can do a lot of different things like let's say you recorded a live commentary but you did not like your live commentary and instead what you wanted to do was just do a regular commentary with the gameplay well now you can have game audio without the voice audio you can just remove the voice separately or you can put the voice back in and balance it to whatever loudness that you need the other version that I showed you the simpler one the one that's out now if I can grab the proper file should be this file right here what it does is a similar thing but instead of having two audio so that you can easily balance the voice it smashes them all together in one track here as you will see uh, that's kind of a problem. We'll disable resample again. I want to drive that one home, guys. That's an important fact. You uh, this you need to balance this ahead of time. If this isn't balanced right ahead of time, it can get a little bit out of whack. But I showed you, you want to go negative one decibels on the voice and about negative twenty something on the game audio, and it will be more or less okay. But this over here, multiple tracks. This is what I prefer.
Okay, the next thing I would like to show you punishes my computer a lot more. You're definitely going to get to see frame drops here because I'm recording webcam, Elgato, and screen capturing both captures at the same time. It's getting a little bit crazy, but this is how you do a face cam or webcam audio. I use a simple Logitech webcam. I'm telling you, cheap webcams and cheap cameras work just fine. It's what you do with them that counts. I have it centered. My head is here. Everything's good to go. The Elgato is on the left, but syncing up the live commentary and the voice is sometimes difficult. I always just record the audio directly onto the webcam track but what I like to do is I like to do a little test now this isn't the live there's a little bit of delay on the USB but I would put my hand here uh, here and I would go three two one jump and what I'm going to do later in Sony Vegas is I'm going to sync the jump to the jump over on uh, it's gonna be this screen over here on this side and it'll make much more sense when I open up Sony Vegas that means that as I'm running around there's no delay in my comments or anything like that Ah yes, back to Sony Vegas. Well, let's import some more clips. Uh, you can see that I've got some stuff kind of building up here. This should be my most recent clip that we recorded with the little jump. And let's go to, I believe, the videos. I just have a little folder of all the videos here. Probably the most recent one, this one. Uh, yeah, sure, build me an audio proxy. No, I don't want to do this. I will do this and this. And uh, what we need to do here is we need to insert a video track and I can take my webcam and I can drag and drop here. I'll probably disable resample on this one. That's probably the best tip I've got for you. And what you can do here again is the same thing. You've got your audio on this track so you can balance as needed. I'd probably turn my game audio down a bit and I would turn my voice audio down just this smidge so that we don't pop or top anything. Uh, I also have a bad tendency of just normalizing the audio and then turning it down. And then what we will do is find the part where I swipe my hand across the screen. Up here it is. Uh -huh. There we go. And I'm actually going to trim right there and delete this part. The goal is just that we sync everything up. Now where was that jump at? Where did, where did I jump? At what point did we jump? And after a little bit of time I found the point at which I jumped. There's the jump. Starts about here. And I can take this and put that back on track. And what I will do is I will open up this sort of window and uh, that's going, I'll drag it over here on this side. Hopefully I don't get it stuck. Oop, don't, nope, I don't want you in there. I want you over here uh, so that we can resize. Oh, let's restore real quick. And we'll lock aspect ratio and we'll resize kind of in the corner like this. That's usually where I put the webcams. And you'll kind of see that it's in sync and that when I, we move the hands I jump. And in that way your live commentary is synced up with the audio so you could just kind of drag the tracks. And you can click on every single last one of these guys. And we're going to go to groups and I hope you see it on here it says create new. And now we, we can just kind of drag it around and Oh, am I killing it? Yeah, there we go. Killing it a little bit. And edit it all in one big group of clips. And it's all synced and good to go. It's not super exciting because I'm not doing anything right now, but that's how you sync your audio with uh, a webcam. And you can, of course, add an overlay up here. Uh, I don't know what kind of overlays I have. Let me insert another video. I think I have a basic stream overlay. It looks something kind of like like this maybe. Uh, if you want them, it's not such a big deal if you do or don't. And for the last little bit of tips, I'm going to show you how to do live commentary on PC and I promise you that it's super, super simple. Well guys, that's all for this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe and also check out the link to Elgato down there in the description. They sponsor me to make these videos and that's pretty cool of them because instead of wanting me to sell capture cards or push products, all they want me to do is make sure the people that already own their stuff are happy with what they have and help the whole gaming community have better content and that's what I'm here to do. Anyway, Drifter out.